Hi kids, welcome to story time with me, Miss Booksy. What story should we read today? Hmm, let's spin the magic wheel. Little Red Riding Hood. Wiggle, snap, story time, let's go. time at cool school with me, Miss Booksy. We've read Little Red Riding Hood before, but this time I want you to come on the adventure with me and you can help me defeat the wolf and rescue grandma. Okay, once upon a time, a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood, that's me, was packing a nice dinner to take to her grandma's house. My grandma was sick and even though I had to walk a mile, I was ready to help my grandma because that's what good kids do, right? I packed up a sweet dinner, liver and onions and peas. Oh, you don't like that? Okay then, fruit roll up, some pizza, ice cream, and four Twinkies. Okay, good choices. Now, there's only one good way to get to grandma's. It's right through the scariest forest you can imagine. That's not scary. Oh, my bad. Better? Yay! Good. Whoa, but then someone or something snatched my red hood. Oh, and snatched my basket of delicious snacks. Ah, I've been robbed. Kids robbed by a wolf. I said a wolf. And the wolf was wearing my red hood. That's a little girl's hood. He could stretch it out, the darn wolf. And he just looked silly, too. Then he spoke. What is a little girl like you doing all by herself in the woods like this? Going to my grandma's house, if it's any of your business, and it's not, so please give me back my stuff. Aren't you a sassy lassie? Maybe I will go to your grandmother's house and eat her. What do you think about that? Put some sauce on her, maybe some ketchup or mayonnaise, I don't know. Oh, no, you won't. You're not putting mayonnaise on my grandma. I yelled and I kicked, and, but the wolf ran off. And wolves can run pretty fast, even when they're wearing little girl's red coat that doesn't fit quite right. I had to get to grandma's and fast. There was a dangerous wolf in the woods, so I ran. Faster! Run faster? Yeah. Uh, okay. Faster! Okay. Woo. <sighs> We're here at grandma's house. Let me in, Grandma! There's a dang wolf outside in the woods, and he's stealing little girl's clothes and parading around, and I had a... <gasps> and this time, he's wearing my grandma's nightgown and sleeping cap. He even had on a pair of her high heels. And he was licking his paws, just like he'd eaten a snack. Or maybe, my grandma, what can I do? He's a wolf. But I had an idea. It was a good idea. I ran, and I ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran really, really fast! Okay! Like a cheetah! Like a cheetah? Yeah. What's that sound? It's like a clack, 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 clack. Is that the... Look at that wolf! And he's still wearing my grandma's high heels. And you'll understand one day, it's impossible to run in high heels. Then, right there, with his twisted ankle and his belly full of my grandma, he started to get sick. It was really gross. He, he, the big bad wolf threw up. Ew. He threw up all over the place. Ew. He threw up my grandma. Oh, don't worry, she was fine, not a scratch. He threw up all the fruit roll-ups and the ice cream and the pizza and the Twinkies. I don't feel so good. It was gross, but it gave me and Grandma time to get away. We called the police and the firemen and animal control and everybody we could think of. 
And I'm happy to tell you the wolf was caught and sold to the circus. And now, every year since, Grandma and I go to the circus when it comes to town just to laugh at the big bad wolf. He doesn't know any tricks or anything, but it's just funny to see a big old wolf wearing high heels. And that's the end. Little Red and Grandma lived happily ever after. Grandma called to say she's sick. Don't worry, Grandma Little Red. We'll get there quick. She grabbed her basket and her little red hood, then ran to Grandma as fast as she could. Mama told her to stay on the road, but Little Red didn't listen. Little Red uh, didn't uh, listen. Shoot! Mama told her not to go through the woods, but Little Red didn't <laughs> listen. Oh, oh no! Hey, where you going with all that food? The wolf was in a serious kicking mood. I'm going to grandma, she's sick and bad. The wolf let her go, let her go ahead. When she got to grandma, she lifted her hood. The door was wide open, oh, oh no good. The big bad wolf was there in bed. Dressed as grandma, but with a big furry head. You have said little red The better to see you with Said the wolf from the bed All of a sudden He jumped out of bed wolf! And that's when he tries to eat Little red But Grandma Ducked From behind the door Great to be together and spend time as a family. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's going to tell us about today. Welcome to Sweets Cafe, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood and the hot poppin' pizza. Well, hello. Oh. Hi. I mean, your wolf shouldn't say anything. What smells so good? Nothing. Perhaps someone told you not to speak to wolves when you have a pizza. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Grandma usually locks the door. Hi, Grandma. Well, hello, Little Red. Hi, Sweets. What are you looking at? Hi, Rosie. I'll be right with you. Wait. Wait for it. Here it comes. Wow, is that dough? Sure is. You have to throw the dough up high in the air to make a sweet, licious pizza. You mix it all together and... Ta-da! My famous hot poppin' pizza. We also do deliveries anytime, day or night. No matter how far you are, you get the pizza in 20 minutes. And if we're late, you get a second pizza for free. Who orders pizza in the middle of the night? You know, owls, bats, raccoons, grandmas. Grandmas? Sure, like Little Red Riding Hood's grandma, for example. Little Red Riding Hood? Don't you know the story? Little Red Riding Hood walked through the forest to deliver her grandma a hot poppin' pizza? No way! Little Red Riding Hood brought her grandma a picnic basket. Who has a picnic in the middle of the night? What? In the middle, middle of the night? Of the night? That night? There was no picnic. Little Red Riding Hood brought her grandma a pizza delivery. In fact, it was my famous hot poppin' pizza. But then a wolf appeared. He thought it looked pretty tasty, too. A wolf that likes pizza? That's right. Tell me the story. Okie doke. So this is exactly what happened. Are you ready? Let's go! Pound the table, clap your hands, off we go to magic lands! Stir the batter, lick the spoon, hold on tight, we'll be there soon! Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She kind of looks like me. Now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. She and her grandma were best friends. Is that a giraffe out there? A giraffe? I won! I won! Oh, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> One time, Little Red stopped by. Hi there! 
Are you still open? We sure are. Sweets Cafe never closes. We're open 365 days a year, 25 hours a day. 25 hours a day? What's the extra hour for? To finish what I didn't do in the first 24 hours. So, what can I get you? My grandma is sick, but she's really craving some pizza. Well then, you came to the right place. What is she like? Garlic? Anchovies? A grandma slice? That's a New York thing. Pineapple, please. Hawaiian, I like her style. Wait for me here. I just gotta go to Hawaii to get some pineapple. I'm coming right back. Would it take a lot of time? Cause grandma is waiting for me. No, just kidding. I have plenty in my kitchen. Here's my famous hot poppin' pizza. Thanks, sweets. I'm off to go through the very spooky, kind of scary, slightly haunted forest to get to my grandma's house. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going through the very spooky, kind of scary, slightly haunted forest at this hour? Um, yes? It's getting late. Instead of walking, why don't you take one of my scooters? I'll make you an official pizza delivery girl. Cool. There's just one thing. A sweet pizza has to be delivered in 20 minutes or less. Or else, the customer gets a second pizza free. That's the sweet pizza promise. So hurry up. I'll try my best. Is pizza expensive? Sure is. It costs a lot of dough. Good luck! And remember, watch out for wolves. If you bump into one, don't speak to him. Really? Why? Well, because you can't trust them when it comes to Sweets Pizza. Okay, thanks, Sweets! Hmm, <laughs> what is that delicious smell? Time to do something big and bad. No scooters allowed. That's weird. Sweets didn't mention anything about this. Oh well, I guess I'll walk. I could use some exercise before Grandma and I eat this whole entire pizza anyway. Well, hello. Oh. Hi. I mean, your wolf. Shouldn't say anything. What smells so good? Nothing. Perhaps someone told you not to speak to wolves when you have a pizza. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid. I am not that kind of pizza wolf. I'm more of a spaghetti wolf. Don't like pizza at all. What a relief. I'm so sorry, spaghetti wolf. Eat. Hiya, just checking in. How's the delivery going? I'm okay. I ran into a kind of creepy wolf while I've been walking through the woods, but turns out he's a nice spaghetti wolf, not a pizza wolf. So everything is fine. Spaghetti wolf? Never heard of one of those. And you're walking? What happened to the scooter? I saw a sign. It said no scooters allowed. Hmm, that's suspicious. Suspicious? Eat, time to go, bye. That's weird. Well, I'm almost at Grandma's house. I'll be there soon. Okay, good, but, but hurry up. Remember the Sweets Pizza promise. Delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking. I'm on my way. Spaghetti Wolf, is that you? I know what happens. The wolf goes to the Grandma's house and eats her. Not exactly. There's a ballerina, and a policeman, and, well, you'll see. So far, so good. And I think Grandma's home is just around here. Step to the side, please. Step to the side. Uh-oh. Who said that? Hi. Who are you? You're driving way too fast. Give me your driver's license, please. What? I'm walking, not driving. Are you making fun of an officer of the law? Oh, no. I'm sorry, officer. What do you have in the box? Did you pack it yourself? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, it's pizza. Are you trying to fool an officer of the law? You know, I've got a whistle. Of course not. Okay, okay. I think I'll have to ask you to give me that suspicious box. Please hand it over. It could be dangerous. Um... Are you sure, officer? Because my grandma is waiting for me and... Ah, you're trying to say no to an officer. Well... 
Your ears are strange, officer. Ah, you trying to insult an officer? Uh oh. Eek. Hey, me again. Just checking in. How's the delivery going? Okay. I mean, not very okay. I ran into a kind of strange policeman while I've been walking. It turns out my pizza is very dangerous. The pizza? My pizza? Did you say policeman? Yes, a very hairy one. Sorry about that, officer. Hmm, that's suspicious. Wolves are hairy. Suspicious? Wolf? Suspicious? Time to go! Well, I think he ran away. Okay, good, but hurry up! Remember the sweets pizza promise! Delivery in 20 minutes or less, where the customer gets a second pizza for free! The clock is ticking, just a few minutes left! I'm on my way! Sounds like the big bad wolf will do anything! I'm telling you, wolves love my hot poppin' pizza! Oh! And a one, and a two, you can do it too! A three, and a four, please join me some more! <laughs> Ooh! Ow! Are you okay? All good, come, you can join the lesson. Let's join the other girls, shall we? What girls? Enough chit chat, time to dance. Oh, I do like dancing. The girl with the red hood, please come here. Me? Yes, you. How can you be a ballerina while holding that big box? You can give it to me. The box? Um. It's for Grandma. She's waiting for me. Didn't I mention that the great big solo on Saturday's performance is yours? Really? It's mine? Well, of course, you're my very best student. Now, give me the box. <laughs> hey, teacher, look. That's not supposed to happen. Arr, give me the box. Uh-oh. Just checking in. How's the delivery going? Two minutes left. Hmm, okay. I mean, great! I just caught a wonderful ballet solo. What? Did you say ballet solo? Yes, the ballet teacher with a tail just told me. Did you say ballet teacher with a tail? Yes. Hmm, that's suspicious. Wolves have tails. Suspicious? Wolf? Yikes, gotta go! Well, I think he ran away. Have I mentioned the sweets pizza promise? Delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking. I'm on my way. Special delivery. That's weird. Grandma usually locks the door. Hi, Grandma. Well, hello, little red. Pizza's here. <laughs> Grandma? Have your hands always been that big? Oh, the better to hold a slice, my dear. And, Grandma, have your teeth always been that sharp? Oh, the better to chew the crust, my dear. Hey, Grandma, have you always been so furry? Oh, the better to get the sauce and the cheese stuck into my face so that I can save some for later. <laughs> my dear. Wait a minute. You're not my Grandma. You're that wolf. Get back here! Get over here! I want my hot poppin' pizza from Sweets Cafe! Give me, I'm hungry! Get over here with that hot poppin' pizza! I want that cheesy crust! Oh no! It's been more than 20 minutes and I haven't delivered the pizza to Grandma! I'm late! So what does that mean? It means I have to deliver a second pizza for free! That's the Sweets Pizza Promise! <laughs> You're surrounded. What did you do with my grandma? I haven't seen her. <sighs> okay, how about a trade? We'll give you this extra pizza if you give Little Red back her grandma. Okay, deal. <laughs> grandma, you're okay. Sure am. Where the heck is my pizza? And garlic knots. Okay, give me the extra pie and I leave you alone. Ha 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 Sweet pizza! Ooh. Adios! <laughs> Aw man, that's no fair. I wouldn't say that. I had a feeling something suspicious was going on. So I may have put some extra ingredients on that pizza. Just in case. <laughs> 
Who wants all my hot sauce in the pizza? Ah! I guess he didn't like extra hot sauce and jalapeno peppers. And that's how Little Red and her grandma shared a delicious late night pizza and lived happily ever after. The end. At the end of the day, a wolf really just loved my pizza. It's sweet delicious. More hot sauce, please. Ah, the wolf, what's he doing here? It's okay, Miss Booksy. He said he was sorry. He's just here for my pizza. Mm. Okay, enjoy your pizza, Wolf, but I'm watching you. I see you put on a lot of hot sauce. Once you get used to the hot sauce, it's hard to go back. All right, maybe the big bad wolf just wanted pizza. I get it. <laughs> oh no, where'd he go? Where'd the big bad wolf take my grandma? Oh, oh no, run! I ran outside. Grandma! Grandma! I figured the wolf couldn't have gotten very far, so I set off through the woods to find them. But the woods were getting a little dark and extra scary. Uh. Hi kids, welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Little Red Riding Hood. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hi, I'll take it from here. My name is Bonnie, but everyone calls me Little Red Riding Hood. I have no idea why. <laughs> Anyway, my life is pretty cool, almost fairy tale like I live in a house in a small village where everyone is super friendly and nothing bad ever happens. Well, one time the market ran out of chocolate chip cookies and that was a really bad day. <laughs> but other than that, everything is thumbs up all the time. <gasps> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty much friends with everyone I know, but my very best friend of all time is my grandma. <laughs> She's the sweetest, most amazing lady you'll ever meet. We do like everything together. We bake, we travel, we do arts and crafts. We go to the movies. And we just hang out. But whatever we do, it's just great to be together. So anyway, let's get into the story. It all started when I got a call. Hello. Hello, Little Red. It's Grandma. Achoo! Gazootite, are you sick? I think so. My head is achy. My belly hurts. I've got chills and I can't get out of bed. Oh no, I hope she's okay. No, that's terrible. I'll be right over with soup and juice and medicine and ice cream. Ice cream is essential when you're sick. Alrighty, I'm all packed up. To Grandmother's house we go. <laughs> I couldn't waste any time, so I decided to take a shortcut through the woods. Even though my mom specifically said to stick to the village roads, and everything was fine. Easy breezy and honky dory, until I started to sneeze. Achoo! 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 Oh no, am I getting sick too? Uh, uh, achoo! Oh. Is that a dog? I'm allergic to dogs. That must be why I'm achoo! Sneezing. I better hurry up and get to Grandma's house. So I picked up the pace. Hello. Uh-oh, uh she better watch out. Uh, a talking dog? No, I am a wolf. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon, talking wolf. Wait, a wolf? Too scary. Don't be afraid, I am a nice wolf. Okay. Could there really be such a thing as a nice wolf? I'm not so sure. Uh, uh, Bless you. Thanks. I think I'm a little bit allergic to you. Oh, no. Well, then I'll leave you. But could you spare a crumb of food for a poor old wolf? I'm hungry. Well, this stuff is for my grandma. She's sick. I'm going to her house now. Is that right? Well, I can't let you do that. <laughs> you, you can't? No, I insist you must pick some flowers first. Oh, pick some flowers? <laughs> yes, it will cheer your grandmother up. Oh, and do you know any jokes? Jokes? Her laughter is the best medicine. You absolutely must tell her some jokes. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll bring her some flowers and tell her some hilarious jokes. She'll be better in no time. Say, do you know any jokes? Oh, certainly. What do you call a lost wolf? What? A werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> it 
That was so funny. Uh, how about this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Werewolf. Werewolf who? Werewolf, I find the bathroom. <laughs> how about this one? What did the wolf say when someone stepped on his foot? What? Ow! These are pretty great. Thanks. My pleasure. Sir. Oh my, what big teeth you have. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Well, goodbye. And with that, the wolf bounded away into the woods. He seemed nice enough, right? Hmm, I don't know about this. Let's keep reading. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Grandma's gonna love these flowers, but I better get going. It's getting late. So I skipped ahead to Grandma's house, and again, everything was just fine until I <gasps> uh, tripped. Uh, uh, huh? I'm stuck in a trap. But who would set a trap? I've only seen that wolf around here, and he seemed perfectly nice. But what I didn't know at the time, kids, was that wolf was not nice at all. In fact, he was bad. The big bad wolf? Oh no! In fact, I am so bad that people call me a big, bad wolf. I'm so bad that I do things like huff and puff and blow your house down. So bad that one time I ate a little boy just because he kept crying wolf. And now I've set a trap for Little Red Riding Hood all because I want to get to Grandma's house first. Why, you ask? Well, because I'm going to eat her. Don't act surprised. I told you, I am bad. So, Little Red Riding Hood is probably stuck in their trap somewhere. And look at me. I'm on my way to Grandma's house. Bon appetit. Hello? Grandma? It's me. Ah, watch out. Meanwhile, ugh, I'm totally stuck. All right, time to show off my survival skills. Super crucial survival skill number one, yell for help. Help, help, help. Kids, I yelled and yelled, but it didn't seem like anyone was around to hear. What's that saying? If a tree falls in a forest and there's no one around to hear it, does it even make a sound? Well, that's how I felt. Like a sad, lonely tree. Oh, help, help. Hello? Huh? Hello? I'm over here. Where? Here. Keep talking. I'll follow your voice. Oh, well, I've been stuck here for a while and I was going to my grandma's because I was, I was, but I stopped because it was a wolf because then I said, so I got some flowers and then I picked the flowers, I put them in my bag and I was running and I was running and I was so tired, a little bit hungry too. And you know, I feel like I'm kind of sweating. It's a little bit humid today. And, oh, hi, I got stuck in this trap. Can you help me? Of course. There you go. Oh. I'm free. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Name's Big Al, licensed lumberjack. I'm Little Red Riding Hood, pleased to make your acquaintance. You may be wondering what I'm doing in the woods this late. Well, I'm on my way to my grandma's house. See, she's sick. Everything was fine until I got distracted by that old wolf. I think I'm allergic to him. And then I got stuck in this darn trap. You say you saw a wolf? Yeah, a talking wolf. Crazy, right? Did he have a fancy sounding accent? Yeah, he did actually. How did you know? That wolf is bad news. But he seems so nice. Little Red, if you don't mind, I'd like to walk with you the rest of the way to your grandma's house. You know, that wolf, he might be dangerous. Oh, I'd be most appreciative, Big Al. Aw, that is so nice. So Big Al the Lumberjack walked with me, keeping watch for the wolf. But we didn't see him. And I didn't have any sniffles or sneezes at all, so he must have been far away. <gasps> Look, there's my grandma's house. Thanks for the escort, Big Al. <laughs> no problem. See you around. Grandma, it's me, Little Red. <clears throat> Come on in. Wow, she sounds really sick. Good thing I'm here. <laughs> Grandma? Huh? Hello, Little Red. Need a tissue? Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter three, here we go. 
Wiggle, snap, story time. Okay, so that's not my grandma, obviously. It's the big bad wolf, but he's wearing my grandmother's clothes. <laughs> As if that would fool me. Whatever, I'll just play along. What would you do if this happened to you? Wow, grandma, you look real sick. Yes, I'm quite ill. I mean, just awful. You look dreadful. Terrible. Okay, I get it. Enough. And my, how big your teeth look. I don't remember your teeth looking so ridiculously huge. Oh, I mean, oh. And you're so hairy. I don't remember you being so fuzzy. I should probably give you a nice shave. Let me go fetch a razor. No, I mean, I should lie down. I'm feeling quite queasy. Oh, of course. So I tucked in the big bad wolf. Weird, I know. <laughs> he actually did seem a little ill though. Went out like a light. But never mind that. I needed to find my grandma. I looked all around the house. Under beds, behind the curtains, inside cupboards, in the basement. Grandma. In the closets. On the roof. Grandma. Everywhere. Where could she be? But then I heard something. Uh, grandma. I looked everywhere. Where could the sound be coming from? Little Red. I followed the sound of my grandmother's voice all the way to... Help me! Huh? Get me out of here, Red! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Shh, the wolf is sleeping. How did you get inside his belly? He ate me! What? Swallowed me in one gulp. Lucky for me, he doesn't chew his food. That's why he was feeling so queasy. Well, I'm gonna get you out of there, Grandma. Don't you worry. Hurry. Achoo! Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so kids, I was really in a pickle. How was I supposed to get my grandmother out of the big bad wolf's belly? I decided to consult an expert, the internet. Uh, I keep trying to get Grandma to upgrade. Come on, come on. I'm in a hurry, internet. What's time for this? Yeesh. Finally. Okay, here we go. What to do when your grandma gets eaten by a big bad wolf? Hmm. Says here, I gotta make the wolf throw up. Ew. Gross. Or else I'd have to perform surgery to get her out? Ugh. I know. I'll call the veterinarian, of course. Hello? Dr. Veterinarian, I have a bit of an emergency. I need an operation for my uh, pet, Wolf. Oh, you don't? Okay, thanks anyway. <sighs> okay, so it turned out the veterinarian had a strict no wolf policy. Okay, Grandma, looks like we're gonna need to do the throw up thing. Yuck. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? Where'd the big bad wolf take my grandma? Oh, oh no, run! I ran outside. I figured the wolf couldn't have gotten very far, so I set off through the woods to find them. But the woods were getting a little dark and extra scary. Uh, but I knew I had to be brave to rescue my grandma from the big bad wolf. Slow down, you're jostling me. Can it, Granny. Mind your manners, young man. I've got to remember to chew next time. What was that? Boy, I wish I had picked a less annoying grandma to eat. Oh. I heard that. Grandma! Ah! Oh, no, not her. Over here, little red. Ow! Jostling. Grandma! Grandma! What do you think is going to happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back. You know me, of course. I am the big bad wolf. Yes, we all know you're big and bad. whoop de doo That's Little Red's grandma. She's in my belly. Yep, and it stinks to high heaven in here. Shush, grandma, and quit moving around in there. You're giving me indigestion. You just wait. Little Red will come and save me. She's the smartest little whippersnapper I ever saw. But she has to find me first, and she'll never do that. <laughs> that is so not cool. Check it out. I've got the best video games, a milkshake machine, a foosball, and a super classy waterbed. 
This is where I hibernate. AKA nap for the entire winter. Wolves don't hibernate. That's for bears. Well, that's not fair. Hibernation is the best. You eat a huge meal and then you settle down for a long winter's nap. What could be better? Whatever. And you should be glad, Granny. That means you'll be safe in my tummy for a long, long time. So I'd been all over the dark woods looking for the big bad wolf and, of course, my grandma. For a while, I could hear my grandma calling for me. But then I lost track of her. Grandma! 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 See? Nothing. I was so scared. What if I never found her? I was starting to freak out. And when I freak out, the only thing I can do to calm me down is a solo dance party. Wow, this is so fun. Little Red? <laughs> Celebrating because your grandma's all better? No, not even close. She's gone and I can't find her, Big Al. You were right about the wolf. He's big and he's bad and he ate my grandma. What? Yeah, I know. So I've been looking all over for her and it's like they just disappeared. So, you're dancing? That's what I do to calm down. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Well, let's go find your grandma. You help me? Of course. You think I'm going to stand by while some big bad wolf is terrorizing nice girls and eating their grandmas? It's on. All right. <laughs> let's go kick some big bad wolf tail. <laughs> so, we were off to find the big bad wolf and rescue my grandma. <laughs> A gazillion hours later. But the finding part turned out to be really super crazy hard. It seriously was like the big bad wolf had just disappeared into thin air. Oh, where are they? We've looked all over the woods and no sign of them anywhere. Oh, and my nose didn't even tingle once. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm allergic to the wolf, so when I'm near him, my nose gets all itchy and sniffly. It's like my spidey sense. I see. And no sniffles? Nope, I'm the perfect picture of health. Unfortunately, I feel like we just need a lucky break. I know, right? Well, no use in hanging around here. Yeah, let's go. What? No, that can't be it. That's right, walk away. Nothing to see here. <laughs> what? Is Little Red nearby? Little Red, I'm right here. Come back. It's no use, Granny. Just about time for my nap. So keep it down in there, okay? Uh, what? What was that? Nothing. Shh. I knew she'd come back. Little Red, Little Red. Achoo! Big Al, I sneezed. Oh, sorry. Bless you. No, Al, I sneezed. Oh, right. That means... He's right under... Uh, achoo! Whew, that was a close one. Let's keep reading. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hey guys. So yeah, I was starting to fear I'd never find the big bad wolf and save my grandma. But then my reliable big bad wolf detector went off. My allergies. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, so he's gotta be here somewhere. But where? Huh? Is he hiding up in the tree branches? Maybe he has a tree house. Tree houses are very cool. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like there's anything up there. I don't get it. We've looked all over. To the left, to the right. We've looked up. Hey, we haven't looked down yet. Oh, well, I think that we would have noticed if you're sitting on the ground, Al. <laughs> Maybe he's underneath the ground. Hmm, like a super secret big bad wolf hideout or something. <gasps> I know it sounds crazy, but... Hey, what's that blinking red light? Huh? Uh-oh, they better watch out. Looks like a security camera. In the woods? Ah! Did you hear that? The wolf! Haha, <laughs> we're on to you, wolf. Yeah, watch out! Here we come! Uh, Big Al, how do we get down there? Good question. Wait, I got it. 
Okay, nope, that don't work. Ha 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 ha! Nice try! Dang! Now how are we gonna get down there? Um, Big Al, look! Hey, did I do that? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of by accident, but whatever, let's go! Gotcha! Freeze, Wolfie! Little Red, thank goodness! Okay, Wolf, it's time to give me back my grandma. Chop her up! Never! Well, I guess Big L is gonna have to chop her out. Yikes, no way! Whoa, 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 that's not really in my job description. Okay, well, then the Big Bad Wolf is gonna have to throw her up. Oh, I hate throwing up, it's icky. Well, it's icky being inside here. Do what Little Red says. Ouch, did you just kick me? Yeah, and there's more where that came from too. Ow, got it out, Granny, or I'll eat Little Red here for dessert. Oh, no, you won't. hi -ya! <laughs> Grandma! Little Red! Yay, I'm so happy! Yuck! Oh, now my breath totally stinks! Ew. Oh, Little Red, I am so glad you found me. Me too, but my job's not over yet. Big Al, let's tie this wolf up. Tie me up! You're going to jail. No! Pretty happy ending, right? <laughs> we saved Grandma and the big bad wolf was about to go to jail. Uh, Little Red? Yeah, what? He got away! What? No! What? No! That can't be! I don't know! He just up and vanished! Granny, did you see which way he went? Don't ask me! Oh no, the big bad wolf is on the loose! Again! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter 6. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So, the big bad wolf had escaped. Just gone. The moose split like a banana. There must be a secret tunnel or something. Cool. This isn't cool, Big Al. We have to get to the wolf. He's a villain. Come on. A secret hideout with an underground escape tunnel? You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Not if we can't find the escape tunnel. I mean, do we just poke a book or something and the doorway just opens up? Ah! You found it! Grandma! It looks just like a water slide. Come on, Big Al. We're going in. Wow, that is so cool. Woohoo! We're coming for you, Grandma! Okay, little red. Ah. Ouch! Ow! Uh, ow! It's dark down here. Where are we? I think we're in the sewer. Like those ninja turtles. That means... We must be close to town. We'll just climb out and find the police. They'll be able to help us catch the big bad wolf. Nice try, but no. This is actually a dungeon. <laughs> ah, the big bad wolf! Achoo! That's right, and you're my prisoners now. Forever. <laughs> you're trapped. You'll never get out. Wow, that is so mean. No way! Let us out. Huh? Ah! A good lumberjack never travels without his tools. Well then, I guess I'll just have to run! Ow! Aw, uh, guess you're just trapped down there forever now, huh? <laughs> Sad. Okay, so now I can finally report that there was a happy ending. We fetched the police and they came for the big bad wolf. Big Al and I got super cool deputy badges and our pictures in the paper. And Grandma got a high-tech security system to keep the big bad wolves out. Hello? It's me, Grandma. Hi, not a big bad wolf or anything. <laughs> Just making sure. Gotta play it safe. And best of all, I got my grandma slash best friend back. <laughs> I went to visit her like every single day. Big Al even came over sometimes. And we would just sit around and laugh about the time the big bad wolf got trapped in his own stinky dungeon. <laughs> and eat ice cream, of course. <laughs> ice cream is essential when you're hanging out with friends. Wow, that was so much fun. <sighs> I just love happy endings. Thanks for coming. Bye.